So Sneeko has found himself in a totally crazy situation, right? This is a story as old as time, you know, the crazy, obsessed woman or whatever, dumping all of his DMs, exposing him with, but he's also like the scumbaggish guy that's lying and deceiving and having all of that catch up to him. I mean, this is a funny, hilarious story. Fans of this channel know that we're not fans of Sneeko over here. No. I mean, I find him to be pretty, you know, disingenuous a lot of the times. I mean, he lies and when he's confronted with real issues, he kind of just runs away and this story is really emblematic of how Sneeko carries himself through controversy he just kind of runs away from the problem until it bites him in the ass later on we saw this with Brandon Buckingham now we're seeing this with the uh, woman that he's dealing with but that's not to say that we're here to simp and white knight for <laughs> Xena over here no. she is nuts no she's nuts and we'll remind you guys later but she's one of the girls that helped perpetrate that story against Brandon Buckingham like yeah. the whole fake rape story and all that like so this girl is crazy she is not in any means a good woman at all so no i mean the red if you look at like the type of woman that the red pill community like promote like submissive quiet apolitical not you know hogging up all the attention for themselves these types of women xena is like the complete opposite of that and you can just see on her feed like I've known who this person is for like a while. Like I've just seen her tweets just show up on my feed. And me and my friends have been making fun of her for like a while just because her whole personality is being obsessed with Sneeko, just worshiping him like literally as if he's some sort of deity, some sort of God. It's yeah. just disturbing and just crazy. Yeah. So, and so that's where the drama comes from is because Sneeko publicly denied that they were dating. That's right pretty much exactly he was kind of stringing her along and yeah but wouldn't really be clear about what his boundaries were what exactly the situation was and so you know recently he's been pressed for how much you know how he's mistreated her right and so he went out on stream and publicly claimed that you know any woman that people think he's been with actually he was never with and everyone's just completely lying about it right lying about their relationship even existing your personal life. How do you treat your girlfriends? How do you treat your personal relationships? Because I happen to know personally- The girls that he's saying that are my girlfriends are not my girlfriends and they never were. So Destiny's talking about Xena because Destiny knows who Xena is. He knows the nature of what Sneeko's doing or whatever. Yeah. And Sneeko will talk about how much virtuous truth telling guy he is. And he doesn't take, you know, any answers from a bitch. You know, he just lays it all out, right? But Destiny's like, no, you don't. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Destiny knows this, too, because he's just as much like of a whore in the community where he yeah. just fucks a bunch of people. So he's like, I know this person. I know this person. I know all the lore of all these people. Right. So. And Sneeko's like, no, 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 we were never dating. But this actually triggered Xena because she was like, what the fuck? So she starts leaking text messages. By the way, the username. <laughs> Daddy's all number. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. so Sneeko says, I shouted you out first for my girlfriends that helped me. And then she says, I don't know what to say, but I'm always here to help you. And I don't need public validation. Your attention is enough for me. You not my boyfriend, you my king. To which he responds, good girl. Wow, that's so just terrible. <laughs> just, just totally terrible. Here she is continuing. I created both his servers and designed the layouts, still have the email set up too. So is Destiny wrong or are you admitting you're a liar? Here he is on Pearly Things Podcast, again, denying the relationship. When you build your empire, how so? Yeah, I have a, a couple girlfriends right now. I know it's Haram, but one of them runs my Discord server and she's she's on top of things. When I was getting a lot in a lot of drama, she was there and she was able to, to take care of it and make sure that it was running. And of course, he's talking about Xena, who everybody knows managed, you know, his Discord. You could just join it and see her in there managing things, right? So there he is talking about how he has multiple girlfriends, kind of a Chad, a cool guy. Yeah, but it's Haram, guys. Yeah, but, but it's I have Haram. multiple girlfriends. And yeah, so he's referencing directly the one that managed But he doesn't Discord. know how to like manage them. You know, he yeah. can't keep them and check so is it really is it really chad if you can't keep all your women in place because that's the thing is he's being weird like he's like i've never dated any of them and none of them are ever my girlfriends but here you are just saying that they were yeah so oh like, i have all i have all the girlfriends or whatever but he can't you know be honest or manage them or keep them in check right so yeah so then he like lies about the nature of what's going on and then they get pissy and start dumping all the shit in the fucking timeline yeah he, he's just he's just a loser here she is again uh tweeting the point here isn't about selling the dream i get that but it's the fact that he was claiming he never lied or manipulated any woman in a previous stream and then last night he says he was never in a relationship or said he was his stories aren't making sense i'm not siding with destiny or anyone but the truth he likes to preach so much about i have to say stuff like this but i didn't it's not i never lied about the relationship that's not that's not what it is i'm just saying i, I i'm not in a relationship currently i didn't deceive anybody i never i don't deceive the women that 
that I've slept with. I don't deceive women like that. I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> you did. Just admit it. I mean, now, just admit it. Is it fair, though, from Sneeka's perspective to be like, look, I mean, she it, obviously to her, she must have known that she was nothing more than like a side piece or whatever, right? Like, it's her fault for fucking falling in love and... And you know, she's blowing this all out of proportion. She knew what the deal was, right? Can Sneeko say that? Um, not when you're letting her call you daddy, <laughs> say stuff like this in your DMs. I just need your attention so much. I mean, you're asking for it. You as a man, or honestly, even as a woman, if you're letting someone simp for you that hard, either way, you are letting them fall in love with you. And then you have to deal with the consequences of that because you're not putting your boundaries up. You're not saying no. Right. You're letting it happen. Well, Zerka actually pushed him on stream like a day before she exposed everything. And this is what what they had to say. This is a very interesting clip. She is no, no, you said falls in love. Just because a girl falls in love with me doesn't mean I'm responsible for them. That's literally the biggest cope I've ever heard. <laughs> That's not why. That is, you know how many girls are gonna burn in hell for that one. Sure. Chat, one of you sure. agree with me. If a girl said if a girl falls in love with you, it's not your responsibility. I'm lovable. How did she fall in love, Steve? A girl should love how me. How did she fall in love? Was she just a stranger, pen pal? Pretty bro, a lot Come of the, a lot of the girls. I'm, she wasn't in person. I'm not even talking about one what person. A liar. I'm talking about many girls that fall in love with me. No, no, I don't do, do anything, bro. I don't do fucking anything. You're not doing that to my homie, bro. Doing what? You're not gonna pretend she's a pen pal. What the fuck? A pen pal? When did I say that? You pretty much say, hey, she just fell in love randomly. Yeah, I didn't. She was never around you, bro. Being around on fresh and fit. Being around like it, people in my chat or like girls that I met yeah, once. If a woman falls, I'm not talking about chat, one girl. If a woman falls in love with you, it's your fault. <laughs> that is the Cold. dumbest shit ever, bro. Women what are like adults. Fuck? Adults are responsible for their decisions and what they do. Whoa! You don't bro, take. You are not an adult. You don't bro. take responsibility <laughs> for the fact that somebody yo, loves you. Yo, dude. How, how would you not dude, apply that same girl, logic? It's I have. Just, five I've been women, making fun of the chat. Five women in my life. Two were girlfriends, the rest weren't all self-harmed with a knife or or, or taking some pills. Just some LA shit. Um. No, 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 I'm from Canada. These girls who self-harmed, I could have been out of their life way sooner. Yeah, I, I don't you know what I mean? deal with that. If a girl self harms If a woman's girl, in love, bye. you did something, nigga. You did black magic. Sneeko, Zerka is right. If a girl falls in love with you, it's your fault for it. Being around them enough caused that, which is what you allowed. Okay, we know yes. why Sneeko's called. Yeah, and I think that's the clip right there, right? So. Yeah. What they're fucking fighting about is Sneeko's like, I don't have any responsibility. I just exist and they love my penis and it's not my fault or whatever. But it's like if you're around a girl and she's deeply, crazily obsessed with you or whatever and you're able to recognize that and you don't want that to happen. You don't, you're not cool with that. You're not capable of handling that. You cut them off. You don't keep them around because keeping them around makes the situation worse. Yeah, well, also, he, like, never put up any boundaries from what we've seen. He's never been like, look, we are not this. If anything, he said the opposite. He right. said, we are girlfriend, boyfriend. You know, she fucking calls him daddy every single text. And he's like, yes, and, like, hearts it. And so there, she was giving that impression. And then all of a sudden, he's just like, what? I don't understand why this happened. It's like, you know why that happened. You let it happen. Right. You let it happen by talking to her every single day and letting that letting that continue on. So, you know, this stream took place, whatever. Zerka was backing her up and she started tweeting a bunch of stuff, thinking Zerka and all this stuff. Then she started leaking some more now deleted text messages, right? Where she's exposing Sneeko for drug usage. So she says, charge your phone, Nico. You not in USA. You got to stay in point, daddy. And she he doesn't <laughs> say, yo, chill. He's like, can you just give me MDMA? Like, dry ice Yeah, drugs. continuing. Absolutely. Coming back tomorrow night. Oh my gosh. Okay. You want me to get you that? Got you. He says, pure, nothing cut. She says, okay, daddy, whatever you need. He sends a heart. I'll text you it when I have it uh, so you can see how much you want for. So just continuing on the conversation or whatever. Fine, drugs. Which, by the way, drug usage, you know, even though he shits on people that take drugs all the time on stream. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, no, okay. Fake. I mean, it's nothing. New. Yeah. And also, why is he even having like multiple like he's dude, this guy went to like Morocco recently and was talking about all the threesomes he was having over there, even though he's this devout, you know, no haram having Muslim. It's all quads. It's all air quads. None of that is real. He talks I mean, about how he's quitting all drugs, even quitting drinking and everything. Is he? No, everything in this guy's history, he's always been someone who just like lashes onto something and then copies it even if it doesn't fit like who he is as a person at all. So yeah. his public thing is trying to be a Muslim, but it does not even fit. So either. here we have some more stuff. This is pretty bad. Here she is leaking the fact that apparently the woman that cocked Sneeko in the infamous story, you know, he claims after that he was done with her, right? 
Well, apparently that's not the, that's not the case at all. Yeah. She says, let's talk about how you took Maria to Japan, the one who cucked you. Mr. I haven't seen this girl since that incident, but visited her twice in NYC and then took her to Japan. And I had to help clean up the evidence and banned her name in Discord and anyone posting the evidence. So she was sweeping it up for Sneeko, removing the evidence of all of this stuff, right? But now she's exposing it, just dumping it. You know, shame on her, by the way, for making all of this public. You know, if you want to be a red pill, high value woman, then you shut the fuck up and you don't fucking speak ill on your man. You yeah, know, even, even if he owns you, even, even if, if he cheats on you, and even if he's, <laughs> even just lying if he's about totally you. pathetic, you, you stay in your place, woman. But yeah. she's not living up to her values either as a woman, just like he's not living up to his values as a man. I mean, this is a just a hilarious situation all around, yeah. you know, coming from the red pill community. They're not sending their best. No, are they absolutely not and the worst thing about the cuck stuff too is like i think that before i had a take or whatever in one of our old videos where it's just like look i mean something happened to him and he hated it so can you really just sit there and be like he's a cuck and he loves it if he left her and didn't do it anymore then it's just like a horrible experience in his life but clearly now it actually has validity to say he's a cuck and he loved it because he kept talking to her right so it wasn't just some one-time thing that happened to him he's just like what the fuck this traumatized me i can never talk to her again he tried to justify it he tried to justify it he continued to talk to her and he treated her after it happened <laughs> so now it is 100 percent confirmed that he was into the cucking because otherwise he would have cut her off right otherwise he would have been like that was yeah, disgusting yeah, I hate it. getting cucked should be the biggest fucking turn off of your entire life yeah you should never want to speak to the woman again you should be like what the fuck because that's just getting cheated on at that point basically right it's just like or in his scenario doing something that you try to be sexual and you're like ah fuck this and you left and said it happened he said yeah i still love you though let's go to japan <laughs> <laughs> so Why? that's not the same thing at all it's terrible, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how can you overlook that? That should never be something that, first of all, that should never happen in the first place. Yes. But if it does, that should never, that should be the end of that whole chapter of your life. <laughs> yes. That's when you actually do do drugs to forget yes. about it. Just completely fuck your brain and pretend like, oh, that song yeah, of my life just never existed, you know? And you move on and you don't glorify or justify it. I mean, holy shit, bro. But it continues on. So here she is just attention whoring at this point, yeah, right? I mean, there's no way we can even read all this. I mean, it's just paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a pen pal. I mean, you get the idea. This is basically the same thing over and over and over. Yeah. So, so she, like, you know, she got disrespected on the podcast and now her emotions are completely just taking over, just spamming, just nonstop nonsense that I'm sure if you're pathetic, you read all of this and we're like, true. But if you're us and you're fair, you look at both of these people and you're like, yeah, you they all suck. suck. The only interesting thing from this is the very last sentence of this. You vaccinated as fuck too. So here she's exposing Sneeko allegedly for being vaccinated, implying that he took, I mean, she doesn't say it, but implying he took the COVID vaccine. Yeah, because that's like the whole red pill thing is that if you took the COVID vaccine, you're gay. You're yeah. Weak. I mean, I think other ones like ones you take when you're born are part of the exceptions. Right. But you now know. Sneeko denied this immediately. Uh, and I noticed one thing you said in his denial was very interesting. No, I'm not vaccinated, bro. Like, <laughs> Why do you, why would you fucking retards believe random people who are clout chasing? No, I'm not Now, vaccinated. she might be clout chasing him at this point, right? But random people? That's she, not coming from a random person. She's definitely it's not. Rex. Yeah. She's definitely not a random person. She is a girl who is super close to you, who you like call you daddy and had you buy drugs for you. Yeah. This so. is just an example of Sneeko not being able to fucking control conflict or whatever. I mean, we've seen this happen a trillion times, which is fine. I mean, not everybody. I don't control conflict very well. I'm sure most people in the fucking chat don't either in, you know, every 100% situation of their life. But... This is a guy preaching his values and acting like he comes from a position of authority and leading young men. You know, this is how you treat women. This is how you do this. This is how you live your life or whatever. And we see his life and it's just a complete hypocritical disaster. No, it's just It's terrible. not something to follow. It's something, I mean, maybe you follow it and you follow what he does and his actions to learn what not to do. Yeah. But he shouldn't be a teacher of young men. I mean, he's a follower himself, right? Nice. It just completely destroys that entire concept that, you know, this is somebody worth looking up to if you're a young man. I mean, could you imagine being a young boy looking up to Sneeko? That's you know, I mean, yeah, it's okay to say he makes cool videos. I think his edited stuff is really good. You know, so his, some of his stream content is pretty good, right? But looking up to him, 
He's not a moral figure to look up to at all. No. Anyway. <laughs> Why would you do that? Now, I think we missed one thing up in here. Oh, yeah. This was just, I mean, we're getting to really <laughs> pathetic levels of gossip and drama here. Jesus. Two girls told me he gave them BV. That's uh, bacterial vaginosis. I have always used protection because I understand he sleeps around. Thank you. So basically, that's not like an STD, um, to my knowledge. I believe it's more like you had a dirty penis and you <laughs> fucked a girl and she Great. had bacteria in her. Which heals and goes away. Again, but it's why just, does this need to be public? But it also is hilarious that it is. It's like, it's like okay. What the fuck? <laughs> this so is just Dirty deranged. Dick Sneeko. Dirty right. Dick Sneeko. New awesome. war just <laughs> dropped in case you guys wanted to know. Just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> And again, we have to stress how crazy she is. This is her putting out a giant. This is not the post we showed before that was giant. This is a new one where she was co-posting last night. I'm alpha widowed. I'm broken. I'm soulless and tormented. No, I'm not okay. I feel like someone just died. This is after like Sneeko basically like ghosted her and right and just didn't respond to it. He did a whole stream last night. Not talk about this. Talk about other stuff. And she's coping that she's not getting any attention. But then she starts like talking about how much of a great, cool, awesome guy he is and how, you know, he's a wonderful person and just, I mean, she's schizophrenic or whatever, right? Then she starts denying the drug <laughs> allegations and covering for him. She's like, look, I've never seen him do drugs. He just asked me to buy some. It could have been for his friends. I haven't seen him take any drugs. I'm not going to side with people that are against him. It's like, okay, but you leaked a bunch of private dirt against him. Text messages and everything. Yeah. So now crazy. you want to play both ways, but you're still on his side? No, you're not. You can't have it both ways. No. So she's getting clowned on, right? And even Sneeko Updates is clowning on her, some update account. And she responds and says, trust me, I know. At least I have you for updates on Sneeko. Keep doing God's work. Thank you. He says, you got blocked? She says, he blocked me off both phones too. I have other numbers, but saving it for a rainy day when I want to cry on his phone. I actually respect him more for blocking me and taking a stand. I'm used to men giving in and caving. Sneeko is not a simp. Makes me want them more. Uh, Yo, dude. <laughs> she is disgusting. And also, she's so insane. Yikes, dude. If the roles were reversed. I need her more. This would be rape. Yes, this is literally like virtual <laughs> rape right now. I mean, yeah. I'm watching him get virtually raped and harassed. This is the part where you have to sympathize with them. It's like, okay, well, yikes. <laughs> get that restraining order and tap. Now, Zerka, we saw Zerka give her some credit, but last night he drunkenly was walking across the streets barefoot for some reason, <laughs> screaming at her, and this is what he had to say. Xena, shut the fuck up, you stupid <laughs> bitch. <laughs> You're Jesus. crying all over the internet. I can't do one fucking podcast without checking my phone. People telling me you're gonna fucking do this, do that, do crazy shit. You're giving Destiny everything he wants, you fucking dumb bitch. Stop it. I even protected you yesterday. What the fuck are you doing? Stop it, man. Sneeko, grab your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? He's just walking around the city drunk. He's walking around the city drunk, barefoot, holding the phone like this, where he's just not even looking at it. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. dumb bitch, what the fuck, man? It's just, what is happening? But then she's like, okay, you're right, brother Zerka. I'll log off. No worries. She just kneeled. She just kneels instantly. This is her in a podcast a week ago screaming at some girl who challenges Sneeko and whether or not Oh, you see Nick Fuentes is in here. Zerka's here. Fucking Destiny's here. The whole group is here, right? And Xena's in the back of the room watching the podcast that they're doing. This is fresh and fit. But this woman is about to challenge Sneeko about their relationship. And then Xena joins in and screams at her. Not in a relationship right now. Think about who, oh, who gave you oh, this information. Wait, what information? What you're saying right now. I'm saying that you're dating Xena. And Xena wasn't and a virgin. Told, and who told oh, you that? Shit. So you're not dating Xena. <laughs> who told you that? Xena? Okay. I did not tell you that, bitch. Okay, so wait, you and Xena are not dating, just to be clear? Because I'm just looking at the Twitter. That bitch is a liar, and she a Jew, and I was like, oh. whoa. I never had a conversation with you. Dude, I'm looking at your Twitter. Let me look at your Twitter. Jesus. Oh, it says Nico is King is the first Twitter. The second Twitter that I'm seeing, it says... I love Sneeko and he can have as many women as he wants. Damn. 
Yeah. You love him. What's that to you, bitch? You don't got a man, you ugly ass Jewish bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Um, whoa. The Fresh, this is my right. 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 So she continues screaming at this woman, having a complete meltdown on the show. And again, from the red pill perspective, right? This is not the woman that you want. I think this commenter put it the best way. Nah, bro. I never realized Xena legit has the same masculine energy. Wow. As an angry, you know, the Sneeko talking about <laughs> feminine woman, but dating that and breaking up with the real rumble wifey. I, I, they're talking about how she has all this mass and energy yelling at women and stuff like this. And it's like, yeah, why is she acting like this? This is not, you know, like, this doesn't fit uh, Sneeko's awesome red pill uh, narrative. No. Where he should get a uh, vasectomy and just fuck a bunch of soft, submissive women all day no. long. These people. <laughs> <laughs> the red pill community is just full, men and women, just full of complete psychos here's, here's another example of complete psycho I mean, holy look at this. shit uh, i hope this is fake i don't know if this is real but if it's it doesn't it looks photoshopped in but if this is not photoshopped in sure here she is flexing a sneako tattoo i mean it's a deleted tweet i'll say that whatever this is she removed it yeah so she should remove the tattoo as well it's yikes just embarrassing now xena we have to give her some credit you know she is a proud muslim woman you know faithful muslim woman Except for some reason, she's tweeting at random people, telling them what Sneeko's cum tastes like. That's gross. That's disgusting. Go suck Sneeko's dick. His cum tastes like cinnamon bun icing. You'll like it. Zirka name bigger than your entire race. This guy's Jewish. So. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> what the fuck? YouTube, we do not support all this racism going off here. But again, you can't be tweeting about what his, his fucking nut tastes like and claiming to be a proud religious faithful woman what and is also this? you're telling you'll like it that's like telling this person to commit gay sex isn't that also like against yes this is disgusting all of yeah. these people are a haram yeah get them out of here ashamed of yourself 